Hallelujah. If it's in there, I want it. Amen. And uh, I'm glad we can still have it in the Bible. How I many you know we can have revival in the Bible way? Right. Amen. Amen. And so let's just let the Lord have his way tonight. Excited about what God has. Just excited about the presence of the Lord. Yes. I, I was back in prayer with Pastor, and I, I just got to thank him. I said, God, thank you yes. that you've allowed me to come into your presence. Yes. That you, you've allowed me to call on that wonderful name of Jesus. And, Lord, when I call on that name, you answer. Yes. To yes. think that he'd answer my call. Yes. I mean, I mean, you know, you might as well when I have spam on me when I call heaven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But God answers my calls. Not like yes. I'm an important foot, but God answers. Aren't Amen. you glad he answers? Oh, praise, praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's so good. Praise the yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, <clears throat> we did have a, I want to say real quick, just uh, how much I'm thankful for this church right here, my church family. We just love you all so much and so thankful for your support of our ministry and just your friendship most of all. And just, you know, it's just wonderful going to heaven with just such great people. We just enjoying this revival and want to thank each and every one of you as well for uh, supporting us in our camp meeting and coming out. And just y'all, we know that y'all made that happen over there. And we just want to thank you for that. And so the radio interview that happened today was because of y'all helping us and supporting us over there. And um, it was wonderful to get to share our hearts on that. It's going to be airing this Sunday. But as Pastor said, be here, not with your earbuds in. But <laughs> if you do want to hear it, um, I will put it on our website, a link to it on our website, and it'll be online. So uh, I'll probably try to do that tonight, and it'll air Sunday. And so you can check it out, like, next Monday if you want to. But just go to themanclan.net. It'll be on the main page there. But anyways, we're going to do a song that says, You Can Sing at Midnight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> faithful. I'm thankful. Um, uh, I'm thankful, as Brother Cox mentioned earlier, that I love serving the Lord. This life is good. I tell you what, even though we face hard times, we don't have to face them alone. And Amen. one That's of right. the songs that we talked about in the studio today um, that we introduced and, and played through for her was um, Love and Life. And, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that we can have joy and we can Amen. love life, even when life kind of gets a little rough and when right. crazy things happen. If we have the Lord on our side, if we have that relationship with him, he's where the true joy is. And Amen. that relationship is where we find true joy and true happiness and Amen. that our circumstances don't have to affect that. And I'm thankful, thankful that we can sing at midnight, have a song in the night, That's have right. joy through the hard times. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. 
here's an old one. It says, God on the mountain, still God on the mountain. your Bibles tonight. Turn in the word of the Lord to 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 tonight and glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen. And I believe the Lord's come by to help us. Aren't you glad he's God on the mountain? Yeah. He's God in the valley. He's Amen. God in the good times, the bad times, the hard times. He's just God. Hallelujah. Appreciate yes, the Lord. Amen. Appreciate his goodness. Second Corinthians tonight, chapter number four. And I want to begin reading in verse number 15. Second Corinthians chapter number four, verse number 15. The Bible reads like this. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace, I like that, right. that the abundant grace, not just grace, but that the abundant Amen. grace Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad he gives abundant yes, life he and he has yes, he abundant does. grace? And, uh, I'm not preaching on that, but I do like that. Amen. Like uh, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. Yeah. And I've testified on that. We'll come back to that in a second. But I want us to notice this next verse, and that they might redound to the glory of God. Then it goes on to say, for which cause we faint not. Or in other words, because of what I've just said, we faint not. Though... Our outward man perish, yes. yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. If the Lord had helped me tonight, I want to preach to you for just a little while on this thought of I've missed a few days. I've missed a few days. 
Let's pray. Father, we love you tonight. We thank you for your love and your mercy and goodness. Thank you, Lamb of God, that you are God on the mountain. You're God in the valley. You're God in our good times. You're God in the bad times. You're God. And God, tonight you come. You're, you're God. You come to be God in our midst. And Lord, I stand in dire need of you tonight. Set my soul on fire for you to preach your word. God, anoint our ears to hear, hearts to receive of your word. God, move as we gather around these altars. God, renew the inward man today. And God, we give you the praise and the glory and the power and the honor. Jesus, wonderful name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Hold on. We'll get this going real quick. Amen. I've missed a few days. And hopefully that will become clear in a few moments. The Bible said in the reading of our text, for all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace, I like that, right. the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. Now, I love that word. That word redound, uh, the root word there is, uh, is like a wave, a wave of the ocean, that, the, that the, uh, the grace of God might redound like a wave of the ocean. In other words, that it might, might come over and over and over again. Hallelujah. Have you ever been to the ocean and you've watched the waves? I, I, I just, uh, I, I can sit there all day long and just watch the waves. I mean, do absolutely nothing but just watch the waves. There's just something about it. They just come, especially they're hitting the rocks and they're splashing. And, and my, you know, I'm sitting there and I go, ooh, look at that one. And then a little bit that one, ooh, look at that one. Ooh, did you see that one? My wife's like, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Yeah. But I just, it's just over and over and over. But yet to me, it seems like each one is just fresh. I never get tired of watching those waves. They just come in and it comes over and over and over. And that's the idea here in the Word of God, that that, that grace, would, that abundant grace would redound or come over and over again in our lives. Lives. Yes. And if you know anything, if you've uh, been in this thing any time long and know anything yes. about the moving of the Holy Ghost, if you've been around these altars any time, you've, you've felt those waves, huh? Yes. You've been in service where it seems like a wave of the Holy Ghost comes Amen. through and it like wets everybody. Uh, but you know what? You know that if you wait around a little bit, another wave will be right behind it, huh? Yes. And then another wave will be right behind it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one of those waves of the Holy Ghost. I mean, you know, we, that's what we need tonight. Now, if you've ever done any surfing, um, you, you'll notice that that the waves aren't always the same, that there are some that are larger. And usually those larger ones come in groups of around four or five, kind of depending on where you are. And, and they'll come in groups of larger ones. And so if you've ever noticed surfers, they don't surf every wave. They wait for the right bigger surfing waves. Amen. And, and when those bigger ones come in, then mess with, man, everybody's trying to get the bigger ones. Amen. What are you talking about, preacher? Uh, we need some of them big waves tonight. Amen. Amen. I don't want a little dabble, do you? I want one of those big waves of the grace of God to Amen. redound, to come over and over my soul and over my heart and over my life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we need, that redounding grace of God just to come over excuse me, and over and over in our life. And the Bible said for the which cause, or in other words, because of that, because of the redounding grace, because of the Spirit of God coming over and over again in our life, because of that, we faint not. Hallelujah. Because of that constant oh, flowing of the grace of God, of the presence of God, and the touch of heaven, that is what causes us not to faint. For the which cause, we faint not. But though our outward man perish, yet that inward man is renewed day by day. Amen. We were coming home the other day. I, I know, I know, don't laugh when I say this, I know, but uh, we, you know, for a little, a little while, last little while anyway, I don't know, probably two years, my boy and I, we, we, we've tried to go to the gym a couple times a week and, uh, you know, try to try to keep, you know, stay in shape and because, you know, it's kind of hard to preach when you're winded. So we, we try to try to go to the gym a few times a week and and uh, just kind of, you know, stay so I could preach the gospel a little longer and stuff. But anyway, not I'm not talking like uh, he's going to preach all night. But anyway, and uh, but no. And uh, and uh, and so we had been doing real good till about mid-January. We got back to California and just uh, some things that happened and, and we weren't around the gyms where we can go and and just our schedule and and so I'd been out of the I'd been out of the gym for a little while and the other day we'd got back in and we'd gone for a day or two and and my boy and I we I was driving back and I told him I said man I said I can tell I've been out of the gym amen I can tell I told him I can tell I've missed a few days amen I, whoo, I mean I got off that lift I'm, everything's feeling it amen I went over to lift I couldn't lift as many and as much and as long I mean I got done I'm like, man I think I'm gonna die you know and, uh, I'm walking out thinking it's all over, you know, and I'd only been there for 45 minutes. But anyway, you know, it just, it just, I'd missed a few days and I could feel it. I, I could tell that I had missed a few days at the gym. 
How many understand uh, you can tell it spiritually if you've missed a few days? Amen. Yes. You can know it if you've kind of slacked off a little bit. You, you begin to feel it all of a sudden. You realize, wait a minute. Uh, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not as strong as I used to be. Yeah. Well, now, come on. Now. I'm not as on fire as I used to be. Oh, yes. and temptation doesn't flee right. as quick as it used to flee. Oh, yes. uh, I've missed a few days. Amen. You see, sometimes we look at this thing as a one-time deal. Well, preacher, I came to church 30 years ago. What do you want? Huh? I mean, I prayed one time 30 years ago. Isn't that good enough? No. Yeah. But anyway, you know, we get that idea. Well, well, you know, I, I, I mean, preacher, I am a very good CEO. I don't mean chief executive officer. I mean Christmas, Easter only. I mean, I come every Christmas and I come every Easter. I mean, I'm there, man. You can count on it, huh? And we think that that's good enough. How do you understand that that's, that's not good enough? You've missed a few days if that's what you are. You've missed a few days. And you're not spiritually where you can be in God if, because God wants you to move. God wants to move in your life and move in your heart. I want you to understand something. Uh, the enemy is always attacking. He's constantly attacking. It's not once you got saved. He didn't stop attacking you. But he continues on. And once you got blessed, he didn't stop attacking you. But he continues on. And just because you're in revival doesn't mean he's going to stop. Matter of fact, he's probably going to attack a little bit harder in revival. So you won't show up on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Sunday morning, Sunday night kind of thing. You understand? And so he's just constantly attacking. It's just constant badgering. The Bible said that he accused them before our God day and night. I mean, he is always after us day and night, day and night, day and night, doesn't rest, trying to get us, trying to trip us up, accusing us. The Bible said he fighting daily oppresseth me. That enemy is after you every day. Uh, he's fought you today and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's going to fight you tomorrow and he's going to fight you the next day. And why? He doesn't want you on fire for God. He doesn't want you touched of heaven. He doesn't want the blessings of God in your life. And he's going to fight daily. The constant attack of the enemy. Psalm 56, mine enemies would daily swallow me up. Psalms 88, they came round about me daily like water. The Bible said Delilah, when she was pressing Samson, the Bible said she pressed him daily. I mean, she just kept on. That's like the devil. He just keeps on. It's just a, a constant barrage, a constant attack. He's constantly uh, trying to beat us down, trying to uh, 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 get us out of the things of God. The enemy is constantly attacking. It is a daily battle. I said it's a daily battle. It's a daily onslaught of hell. Oh, and I know the last two years it seems like he's kind Kind of turned up the heat on the fight. It's been a daily onslaught of hell against the church, against you, against your life, against your family, against your home, against your community. That onslaught of hell had been daily. And listen, we will faint if there's not a constant day by day renewing. I said, we'll not stand up to it if there's not a renewing. That's why he talked about that grace coming over and over again. Why? Because hell is attacking constantly and he knows you're going to need it. Yes, he does. You're going to need it. With that constant attack of hell on our life, we're not going to make it with a, well, I, I used to go, or I went once, or isn't that good enough? No, no, you got to understand that we must have him every day. That's why he said that grace coming over and over again. That's the reason you and I are not going to faint, is if we taste that grace and taste his touch and taste his mercies and taste his spirit on a daily thing. And this outward man is going to perish. We're, this, uh, we, we're, going, to, you know, we're going to get older and this, the, the things are going to ache and things are going to hurt. And this outward man may perish, but i got good news for you. That inward man doesn't have to perish. He can get stronger and stronger and stronger as the days go by. Hallelujah. I remember I was uh, years ago was talking with the great man of God, Charles Greenway. He was a missionary. He uh, was a, a supervisor for like the entire nation of Africa with the Assemblies of God. Great man of God. He was in his upper 70s and he was flying to Africa. Actually, take it back. He had just come back from Africa. He had been in Africa. He had been on a 30-day campaign. And he told me, he said, I can't sleep on an airplane. He said, I get there. He said, I'm supposed to have a day to rest and get caught up because I've been on the plane for 24 hours. And he said, I get there. And instead of having a day to rest, they pick me up at the airport and say, come on, Greenaway, we're starting tonight. 
Seventy something years old. He said, I started that night. He said, I preached for 30 nights straight. Uh, and then he flew home. And I, I just happened to be there. He was home for, I think, three days. And I, I was there the night before he was leaving. I think he was leaving the next day. And he was on his way to India. And he was going to be in India for 30 days, a 30 day campaign there. I looked at him. Here I am. I'm a young 20 something year old. I looked at this 70 something year old man. I said, Greenway, how in the world do you do it? He looks at me and he goes, <clears throat> Keeps me fresh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, that outward man may perish, but his inward man was renewed day by day. I said it was a fresh. He had a fresh touch of heaven in the morning. He had a fresh touch of heaven at night. Oh, I've come to tell you, hell would try to tell you he's going to do you in. But I'm telling you, that inward man can be renewed day by day, day by day. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That inward man renewed day by day. You must have him every day. I said we must have him every day. That hell is attacking and we must have that inward man to be renewed every day. You look in the word of God. Remember when the manna came? That was a type of the Christ. Jesus said I am the living bread. Oh, hallelujah. He said your fathers ate that manna and they're dead. He said that was just a type of me. I'm the living bread. But they needed that manna every single day. It wasn't eat enough on Monday for all week. No, no, no. He said you've got to have it every day. Can I tell you you've got to have him every day. Every day. Give us this day our daily bread. We need the daily bread of God in our hearts and in our lives. The Bible talks about that daily burnt offering. They'd offered a, a, a burnt offering on Monday, but you know what? They offered it again on Tuesday, and they offered it again on Wednesday, and on Thursday, and on Friday. It was a daily offering. You and I, it's not a one-time deal, but it's a daily thing. Why? That this inward man might be renewed day by day. Oh, you don't have to miss a few days. I said you don't have to miss a few days. You don't have to become spiritually weak. And God wants to strengthen you in the inner man. That's right. Hallelujah. Paul put it like this in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. He said, I die daily. Not I died once 22 years ago, but I died daily. I died yesterday to this old world. I'm dying today to this old world. And tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to die to this old world in the morning. Hallelujah. I'm going to die out to myself and my wishes and my will and my wants. And I'm going to live to Christ. I was praying tonight. Oh, scripture came to me. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Hallelujah. This outward man may perish, but my inward man is going to be renewed day by day. Day by day. Uh, the Bible said in Luke chapter number 9, if you and I are going to follow him, we must take up our cross. Luke 9 tells us in verse 23, not just take up our cross but take up our cross daily. Amen. Take up our cross daily and follow him. Psalm 61 and 8. He said, I will daily perform my vows. I'm daily going to be committed. Daily going to be consecrated. Not just committed on Sunday morning and Sunday night. Not just committed on Wednesday night but daily. Not just committed when pastor's watching but daily. Daily. I'm committed when pastor's here. I'm committed when pastor's on vacation. I'm committed when mama's around. I'm committed when mama's not around. Well, I'm going to daily perform my vows and this inward man might be renewed day by day. Day by day. Day by day. Day by day. You know, we need him daily. Amen. I said we need him daily. I, that's right. I'm afraid to look at it tonight. Amen. The road, <laughs> you know they're killing me. Amen. <laughs> I think time tested road warrior. <laughs> Time-tested road warrior, copyrighted in, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Bless him, Jesus. Help him, Lord. Amen. Uh, where was it? Oh, yeah, daily. How do you know that, that our, our, uh, our, our inward man needs to be re renewed day yes. by day? Amen. Spirit of God moving in our heart. You know what that means? How do you know that, that the Bible says in Psalm 86 and 3, I cry unto thee daily. Not just when I'm in trouble. Not just when I got a need. But I cry to you daily. Yes. Lord, I seek your face Amen. daily. Amen. Uh, the Bible said I've called daily upon thee. Psalms 88. Right. How do you, you know you and I need to pray without ceasing? Yes. Praying always. If we're not careful, we'll get in the idea, well, once in a while I'll pray. Or I'll pray when I got a need. Or I'll pray when I'm in trouble. Or I'll pray this. Or, no, no, no. It needs to be a constant thing. Day in, day out. Amen. Calling on his name. Why? Yes. If this inward man might be renewed. Can I remember Mind you, I know you know this, but I can I remind you, this altar is where we find life, and this altar is where we keep life. I said it's where we keep it. That's why you're always going to find an altar call in this church. Why? Because it's a daily thing.
thing. Yes, it is. It's yes. not I walked the aisle and I prayed at an altar 42 years ago. Amen. Thank God for that. Yes. But I hope you prayed thousands of times since then because yes. it's a daily thing being renewed in our life. That's right. Amen. Daily renewing. Amen. The Bible said you and I are to rejoice evermore. evermore. Amen. I may preach on this just on that thought here. Sometime in the next few services, but rejoice evermore. How I mean, you know you, you don't you need to rejoice every day? That's right. Daily. You need to rejoice. You need to say, preacher, but you don't know what I'm going through. That's all right. You still lift your hands and say, God, thank you. For your love and mercy and goodness. Amen. Rejoice evermore. The Bible said, uh, I rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. How I many know the Bible said that the, the Bereans, remember what they did? They searched the scriptures daily. I'm talking about that inward man being renewed by prayer, by the word of God, by praise and magnifying him. We need it. It's not a one-time deal. Hell is after us. And we need to keep this inward man renewed day by day. Day by day. The Bible said in Acts chapter 2, after they got the Holy Ghost, remember what they did? They continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking of bread in fellowship and in prayers. They did it day in and day out, day in and day out. They were continuing in these things. Ephesians tells us, and we are a Pentecostal people. Right. Ephesians tells us it's not a one-time deal that you were filled with the Holy Ghost 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, right. or right. even last year. No, no, no. It's a constant thing. Be not drunk with where uh, be not drunk with wine, where is an excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Right. Amen. Be filled, be constantly. Oh, church, we're in revival. I said we're in revival. You know what we need? A fresh infilling. I said a fresh infilling of the Holy Ghost. I can tell you this. Hell doesn't want you refilled. I said hell doesn't want you refilled with Holy Ghost. Hell doesn't want Holy Ghost flowing through your life and through your heart. You do anything and everything you can to keep you from in these altars and keep you from the presence of God touching your life. But I'm telling you, if you'll let that grace of God abound and let it redound and let it come over and over and seek his face, I'm telling you at an old-fashioned altar, Holy Ghost will fill you again. And that inward man can be renewed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, man, I got to get on. I've missed a few days. Maybe you missed a few days. You need to tonight say, God, I want that inward man renewed. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, man, Lord. Lord, help us. The presence of God being renewed in your life. Yeah. Touch of heaven being renewed in your life. The Spirit of God being renewed in your life. Hallelujah. Keeping it fresh in your life. Keeping it fresh in your heart. This thing doesn't have to be old and cold and dead and stale. Oh, great. Another revival. I better go because if I don't go, Pastor won't let me have any sauce pecan on Wednesday night. So, no, 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 no. I mean, it's got to be a renewing, man, a renewing of our hearts day in and day out. Spirit of God stirring us and touching us and helping us and blessing us. Hallelujah. Every day, every day. And I mean, the last thing is this. Uh, hell is attacking every day. We must have him every day. And the third thing is this. God wants to bless every day. I said God wants to move in your life. Hallelujah. I, 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 I'll tell you this. I enjoy the presence of God. Amen. I said, I enjoy it. Amen. I love the presence of God. I love Amen. being in the altars. I love crying and weeping right. in his presence. I love magnifying him. Oh, I love Amen. speaking in the glorious language. I love his presence. Amen. Yes, we do. I love when he touches me. How do you know he likes to touch us? Amen. I said, he likes to do that. Amen. The Bible said he daily dropped out that manna from heaven. Amen. He could have just sent out one day and it would have been okay. I mean, he could have made it so that their bodies only needed it one day. But no, no, he made it so they needed it every day. I mean, that's the way he made our spiritual life, that we need him every day. Oh, hallelujah. We need him every day. And have you know, he knows we need him every day. And so he wants to move in our life every single day. I said every single day. He said, preacher, he just touched me yesterday. We had a great service. That's great. But he wants to touch you again tonight. I said he wants to touch you again tonight. That he would be renewed every day, day by day. Amen. Day by day. Psalms chapter number 68, the Bible said, Who daily loadeth us with benefits. Amen. I like that. Amen. That word, that daily, that word loadeth, it means to impress a burden upon. The literal meaning is of loadeth is to impress a burden upon. So what the idea is, God wants to impress a burden of goodness upon us every single day. Like 
Hallelujah. Oh, I mean, he just wants to pile it on. I was back on the East Coast, and we were preaching in a church there, and and, and it's an Italian church. And so when, when you're done with church, then you go to the pastor's house, and and uh, and they cook. And I think they try to kill the preacher with food. <laughs> I think that's what they attempt to do. And, uh, and the Italian folks, it comes out in courses. And when you think you've reached the end of the meal, it's just starting. <laughs> I mean, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. And I, I've got to where I've learned it, so I try to pace myself. They, first thing they start with is they got all this great bread. Both oh, Brother Josh, you'd love it. It's bread, man. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, and they, got this, they got this good Italian bread, and they got these olives and cheeses and stuff. And they call it antipasta. Uh, in other words, I think it just means hors d'oeuvre or, or a snack, whatever. And, anyway, and so you eat a little bit of that, you know, and it's so good you want to eat more than you should. And, and then you stop and then they, then they bring out the pasta I mean they pasta and these big old meatballs and I try to tell them just a little pasta and one meatball and it never works they give me a lot of pasta and two meatballs and, uh, and that'd be great if that was your meal but that's not your meal that's just a warm up that's just to get you going that's just to get the glands flowing huh so you have your pasta and you have your meatballs and then they get that rid of that and then they bring out dinner I'm thinking you got to be kidding I thought I just ate dinner no 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 and they bring out and they're bringing out the meats and the vegetables and then they take that away and then they bring out the salad I thought I just had my vegetable no no you got to have salad. And they bring out the salad. Am I missing some courses in there? Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just constant, constant. Then they get it all done. And you're thinking, okay, I'm about to die. And then they bring out the fruit and the cheese. I'm like, ah! And so you're eating fruit and cheese. And the only reason you're having fruit and cheese is to clean your palate because of what they're going to bring up next. Amen. And they're cleaning off the table, and you're eating fruit and cheese. And then they're bringing out the coffee and the Italian desserts. <laughs> But by then, I can chew and I can't swallow. I'm full. Huh? You've been there, you know? And, uh, and, uh, and they, bring out, they bring out the coffee and they bring out the desserts. And, 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 and I'll never forget Sister Berlotta. She's like, do you, you need a little bit of this. And I, I, said, I said, okay. But I said, cut me just, just a little, I mean, just a little, just a little piece. Because I, I, I told her, I said, I can chew, but I can't swallow. I said, I'm so full, I'm going to die. And she, I said, just a little piece. She said, little piece. I said, yeah, just a little piece. She said, okay. And she got to cut a big old arm. Like, and she looked at me and smiled the whole time, gave me half the cake. I'm like, ah, you're trying to kill me. Huh? Oh, just piling it on and piling it on. You know what? That's the way the Lord wants to do in your life. I said, that's the way the Lord wants to do. He wants to just pile it on and pile it on and pile it on. You may feel like, Lord, I, I can chew, but I can't swallow. I'm so full of you. He said, oh, no, you got more room. Let me give you some more. I said, let me give you some more. Let me give you some more. That that inward man might be renewed day by day. Oh, I got to get on with this thing. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Oh, he wants to renew you every day. Oh, he's ready. I said, he's ready. Hallelujah. To move in your heart, move in your life. The Bible said, I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Oh, hallelujah. God I said, God wants to bless you daily. This inward man might be renewed day by day. Maybe you've missed a few days. God wants you to be renewed. Come on, you two. David put it like this. David is the man of God. David is the anointed of God. David is the king of Israel. He's been anointed by God to be king. David is the sweet psalmist of Israel. Yeah. He's, uh, he's walking in his presence. He's God talking in his life. and He's uh, anointed of God to write the Psalms and all of that. And yet here's what David said in Psalms chapter 92. He said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Uh, what he was saying, yeah, I know I was anointed yesterday and I was anointed last week, but I'm going to have fresh oil. I'm going to be anointed with fresh oil. Oh, my prayer tonight is, God, would you anoint us with fresh oil? God, would you renew us with fresh oil? Lord, would you let that grace of God, a wave of the Holy Ghost, come over and over and over our hearts and come over our lives and come over our soul and anoint us with that fresh oil again. Because that outward man will perish. But that inward man can be renewed day by day. Stand with me, please, tonight. He said, Preacher, I missed a few days. Let me close with this. The hardest thing about having missed a few days at the gym is just getting up and going back to the gym. 
That's the hardest thing. Yeah. Hardest thing is finally she said, okay, I, I know I've gotten out of it. Just everything's been going crazy, but you know what? Take a time. Come on, bud. I'm going with you. Yeah. And just go. And then once you get there, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm sure, I sure needed this. Yeah. Can I tell you one of the hardest things in revival? It's just to admit, God, I've missed a few days, yeah. and I just need to go to the altar. Yeah. Yeah. Just need to go. I'm not, no, I'm not saying we're backslid or demon wicked off. Don't misunderstand me. But, but maybe we've just kind of been, been, haven't, haven't been, you know, on par. What? Missed a few days. Yeah. God said, I'll renew you day by day. Yeah. Maybe you just skipped a meal or two. God said, I've got some extra for you. Hallelujah. Yes, i got some extra for you. Right. Hallelujah. God amen. wants to renew you today. Yes, Father, we love you. And I thank you for love and mercy goodness. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the bloodshed for our pardon. Spirit of the living God, would you allow the waves of the presence of the Holy Ghost to flood our hearts and our lives and flow over our soul, moving in us tonight, God, oh, touching our hearts tonight, God, touching our lives tonight. Lamb of God, we're just coming to these altars admitting, God, yes, we need you today. Oh, God, we may have just had you flow over our lives maybe an hour ago, but God, we need another wave. We need another wave to come in and let the Spirit of God rise up in our hearts and stir us afresh and stir us anew. God, revive us. Yes. Even tonight around these altars, God, we give you the praise for it. In Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly tonight, heads bowed between you and the Master. I don't know everybody wouldn't want to miss. You're here tonight and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Say, Preacher, I'm not saved. I need to give my life to Christ. If there be one, young or old, it doesn't matter. Say, Preacher, I need to be born again. I want to give my life to Jesus. You slip your hand up. Say, Preacher, that's me. I need to get saved. To be just one. Maybe your back's set away from God. I need to know the touch of heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You slip your hand. Say, Preacher, I'm back set away from you. Need to make some things right. Slip your hand up quickly. Hallelujah, quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. How many of you between you and the master would just raise your hand with this preacher? Say, preacher, I want him to renew me again today. I want him to renew me again today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, they're going to play and sing. And as they do, we're going to open these altars. And let's come and gather around these altars. And let's ask God to renew us afresh and renew us again today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah.